All right, so what we are actually making are nature prints that look something like this. Um, I already made a couple of examples to try it out for myself and then to show the children, but I'm gonna make one more now to show you. The materials are a little child-sized rolling pin, a straw, Play-Doh in many fall colors. Thank you, Amelia, for making this. And this is a bucket of leaves and nature things that the children um, gathered on the playground. So the way that this will work is you can really use any surface. Um, you could just use a tabletop to make the initial print. And then I have this big surface covered in wax paper to let them dry on. So I'm gonna choose three three colors of Play-Doh and just take a pinch of each one. Um, and this can be any three colors the children choose. So a pinch about this big, it kind of depends on the object that they choose to make. You can always add more if they don't get quite enough. Um, so I'll choose that yellow, some of this orange color, and I'm gonna use this leftover glob I have from earlier. So get to choose those colors and then smush them together to kind of give them a mix without, of course, mixing it until you can't see any of the colors anymore, but just blending them together. Kids love to squish Play-Doh, so they should have fun with this part. And then once they're kind of mushed together, then using the rolling pin to roll it out flat. When we're thinking about how thick to make it, want to think about it being sturdy enough to hold its shape later on without um, being so thick that it just kind of crumples into two. And I'm not sure what the perfect thickness is. This is about what my examples ended up like. So anyway, rolling it out flat approximately in the shape of a leaf and then they can choose one or if they're small maybe two leaves to do this with. As you can see, this one has a funky shape. So if a child chose this and it wasn't quite big enough, then that's when you might add a little more Play-Doh to help them roll it out onto the side. I'm just gonna do something that will fit to show you. In fact, I'll give you an example using two leaves. So here are two leaves that are both small enough to fit on here. And I'm going to arrange them really however I want to. That part doesn't matter too much. I'll put them on like this. And then I'm gonna use the rolling pen again to press those objects in to make the print. And I found that sometimes even smoothing over the edges and the ribs with my finger can help to really get a good print in there. Okay, once they're pressed in, then they can use little knife, I forgot to show you this before, to um, kind of cut around the edges. And this part is optional. If there's a child who doesn't want to do this, this is definitely not a battle to fight. But the idea is just that it can kind of give it that nice leaf shape. Um, there are a few other objects in here. There are some, some sticks. We haven't found any yet, but I think like a pine cone would look really cool. So just kind of cutting off those edges. And then lastly, carefully peeling up the objects. And what we get is a print. So the straw is to make a hole in it. And when you're making the hole, you wanna think about where can this hang from that is gonna be sturdy. Um, honestly, on this one, I'm gonna even do two holes. So to make a hole with a straw is super simple, just press it in make a hole. Ta-da! So then it's easy enough to pick this up when it's still wet and so you would move it from the surface that you made it on onto this surface and then using a, a marker just write the child's name next to it and the idea is that we want to put everybody's on this one surface. So that's how you do each individual print. Um, so that's the first job is getting all of these prints made with the children. Once they're all made, we're gonna seal them using this matte clear enamel spray. So that'll be one of the jobs for a volunteer as well, is 
using the spray to spray down, um, I don't know how many layers, one or two layers all over the front sides of them, letting it dry and then spraying it on the back sides. And I'm hoping that that's gonna keep these sturdy. And then um, another job for a volunteer is going to be cutting string and stringing it through. Um, and I think actually that would be really nice to do with the child at the same time as we use a Sharpie to write on the back of each one, one thing that child is thankful for. So one of the jobs is making the prints with the children. Another job is spraying these to seal them. And then the third job is taking the child one at a time. And then on the back of the sealed and hardened print, writing their name and one thing that they're thankful for and then helping them to put the string through. And that will be our project. Thank you so much for being willing to volunteer. Hopefully these will be really cute and sturdy and we'll be able to keep them for a long time. Thank you, bye.